beads, floats, a whole lot of family fun. KPRC is proud to bring you the 2020 Knights of Momus Grand Night Parade. Presented by Landry's, the Golden Nugget Lake Charles, and the Post Oak Hotel. It all begins now, live from Mardi Gras Galveston. Welcome to the 34th annual Knights of Momus Grand Night Parade. So glad to have you with us tonight on Channel 2. I'm Derek Shore. And I'm Christy Noel. We are so excited to have you joining us. We are gathered on Galveston Island tonight to view the pinnacle of all Mardi Gras Galveston parades. And boy, do we have an amazing spot right here in front of Pleasure Pier. And you can see the confetti already starting to fly. Who knew it's snowing in Galveston? But tonight it is. Of course, our sponsor tonight, Tillman Fertitta, owner of the restaurant giant Landry's Incorporated, the Golden Nugget Casinos, the Post Oak Hotel, and of course, our beloved NBA Houston Rockets. By the way, did you also know he is a New York Times bestselling author of the brand new book, Shut Up and Listen. Tillman is proud to sponsor the broadcast of the 2020 Momus Grand Night Parade right here on KPRC Channel 2 for its very first year as the presenting media sponsor. And Scott to above the start of the parade now. Tonight's parade theme is Knights of Momus Sail Through Scandinavia. It's a wonderful theme. It's going to be feature 30 plus stunning floats and 21 high stepping marching bands. This phenomenal fleet will roll through the streets of Galveston right in front of your very own eyes. We want to get right to our first float of the night, the Texas A&M Cadets. Hullabaloo, connect, connect. Time to welcome the show stopping cadets. We're thrilled. And by the way, accompanying the floats and the musicians. We are going to see so much color and life in the streets tonight. An ensemble of costumed characters. Get this. Two disco party buses, the Rainforest Cafe golf cart, and the Landry's 25 foot long blazing red fire engine. By the way, we will also be graced by the 2020 Royal Court of the Knights of Momus and take part in the revelry that has made Mardi Gras Galveston an annual tradition for decades. And right there, we're getting a look at the Texas A&M cadets. It's also one of the largest in the nation. And I believe we are seeing, of course, uh, our finest in uniform. We have some First. Houston police on uh, on horseback. And there we have the A&M cadets. There we have the cadets all getting underway starting right now. Yeah, this is wonderful. And we've really had a wonderful evening with the sun just setting. It's a little cool out here, but it's not deterring the crowds from getting ready to party all evening. Long. That's true. The Corps of Cadets, by the way, from A&M, is the largest and oldest student organization and leadership training program at the university. Also, by the way, Christine, one of the largest in the nation. Yeah, they also have a total of seven alumni that have been awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor. Certainly talented folks, part of the cadets. And as Christine just mentioned, it has been a beautiful day down in Galveston. Perfect timing as the sun has just set. We are seeing our very first look at tonight's parade. Yeah, so we'll give a little bit of history about Mardi Gras. The traditional festival of feasting and merrymaking that precedes the season of Lent has been publicly observed on Galveston Island as early as 1867 and then later revived back in 1985 by Galveston-born preservationist and developer George P. Mitchell. This year is the 101st celebration of Mardi Gras Galveston. And there we're getting our very first look title float, the Knights of Momus. The Knights of Momus crew is Galveston's largest crew. Take a bow and make way for the Momus title float, sponsored by tonight's parade organizers. And this year, as Christine Noel earlier mentioned, we are celebrating Knights of Momus sail through Scandinavia. Yeah, the Knights of Momus is Galveston's oldest crew, founded back in 1871, formed by the island's most distinguished citizens. They actively participated in Galveston Mardi Gras until 1941 for the benefit of all. In 1985, the Grand Night Parade was revived along with Mardi Gras Galveston. And look at the folks on the float. It's such a good time. The beads are being thrown. By the way, the members responsible for reviving the crew were Mike Doherty, Doug McLeod, Kenneth Shelton, VJ Tremonti, and Jim Ware. Dancy Ware is the honorary founding trustee, and Joan McLeod is the honorary royalty trustee. And looking at this title float, so much time and effort and work 
work and preparation goes into making this float what it is. And all the floats, Derek, so much preparation has gone into it to make it to what it is. And it's all so wonderful and vibrant. And in case you're wondering, when we say crew, of course this is Mardi Gras. We mean crew with a K, K-R-E-W-E. -E. It's a committee or social club that coordinates parade floats, balls, and fundraising activities during the season of Mardi Gras. And Mardi Gras Galveston, with all its frickle tea and gleam, has captured the imagination and moved the entire spirit of the city. Today, many crews have joined MOMIS, and the transformative event is only made possible because of our thousands of volunteers. Let the good times roll. That is one of the themes of this evening. And a special shout out on the Knights of Lomas title, Knights of Lomas title float, Parade Captain Dan Perigini and founding member Kenny Shelton. Right, and we are hearing the lovely sounds of Alto High School Band. Lovely. Time, time to welcome them in. Show-stopping Mean String Marching Machine from Alto High School. Always fun to see these guys. Yeah, this band traveled over four hours from Alto, Texas to partake in the wonderful festivities this evening. And boy, are we happy to have them. By the way, this band is so talented. They have placed in every single competition they've been in for the past 25 years, and they have grown incredibly from only 25 members to now more than 110. Give it up for the Alto High School Band. And from our spot right here in front of Pleasure Player, kicked up. I know it's a bit chilly down here, but the energy of this crowd, the excitement here is keeping us nice and toasty. Hundreds of thousands of people have made their way onto the island for this wonderful event, and we have seen so many beads flying. And Okay, right now, as we mentioned, it is it, there's a lot of energy down here. It's getting a little loud. Hey, that's what we expect, though, but we want to get right down to our meteorologist, Frank Billingsley, who has a very special guest. Frank, how's it going down there? It's going great down here, and I have, of course, the master chef himself of Mardi Gras, Tillman Fertitta. I heard you just bought another restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> that's business. We're having fun this weekend. Okay. Right? Come on. You know, look that's at all about business. Look at all these kids, all these families. This that's is right. really right. what it's all right. about. It is. That's what I love so much about the Galveston Mardi Gras. It's so family, and you see there's, there's probably because of the beautiful weather, a quarter of a million people out here for this parade tonight, and this is the first year doing it live with you guys, and it's a lot Thank of fun. Thank you for that. It's a lot of fun this year, a lot of fun. I tell you, that party last night with the chain smokers at the San Luis Salute, that was something. They definitely blew us all away last night. It was definitely interesting. Uh, they did a great job, great guys, and what a great party last night for UTMB. It was really fun. Look at all these floats. Here's the second one. <laughs> Just another grand Momus night parade float. This is marvelous, and the weather turned out for us. You know, it did, and it's so great. This is the first time in a few years we haven't had fog. It's a gorgeous night, and, you know, all these bands and floats. It's a, it's a great parade tonight. You can just feel it. All right. I tell you what, I love your book. Are you going to write another one? Of course. I want to write that tell-all book where I go <laughs> after everybody. <laughs> okay. Listen, thank you for being thank with you. us. Always yeah, enjoy it. Fun. All right. All right, Derek, Christine, we're having a ball. We'll see you back in a minute. Such a good time, Frank. And of course, for Mr. Tillman Fertitta, this parade really is a family affair. His children, his whole family are usually here. We're going to have that a little later on in tonight's show. But right now, you're hearing the lovely sounds of SB Waltrip High School Band. Try saying that five times fast, y'all, but listen to them. Beautiful sounds from this band. This UIL award-winning band, no stranger to the Houston celebration scene. They've also performed 2019 Thanksgiving Day Parade and the 2019 Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo Parade, which we know is about to get underway here in just a few weeks, but certainly something to tip their hat on. Yeah, they're known as the Roaring Red Ram Band out of SP Waltrip High School. By the way, head drum major Emily Polly will lead the group in Can't Stop the Feeling, and I like it. They are doing a great job tonight, and now you are seeing the Viking helmet float. Oh, take shield. Vikings, it seems, Christine, have touched down on the island oh. all the way 
Viking from Scandinavia, part of tonight's theme. That is a whole lot of Viking horns, is it not? Right behind us, you see the Viking helmet float sponsored by Knights of Momus. And did you know that Vikings did not actually wear horned helmets like you see in the movies? Who knew? Okay, I, I thought that the horns were just part of the Viking history, but I apparently know. we were all wrong, right? By the way, much of their old Norse words invaded the English language. So without Vikings, folks, this is some great trivia. Yes. Without the Vikings, we would be missing out on some pretty awesome words like ugly, glitter, husband, and cake. And what would we do without those? What would we do without all those things, glitter right? And cake especially, yes. <laughs> and even our days of the week are named after Viking gods. So just some fun trivia for you so you can go fresh your friends. I wonder how many beads are going to be tossed out tonight, Christine. They say millions, right? Millions, yeah. Two to three million. You are taking a look at South Oak Cliff High School. This group has swagger. They have soul. New soul of the South marching band from South Oak Cliff High, High School. The band may have not a Grammy like Lizzo, but they have some pretty impressive accomplishments to brag on. In 2018 and 2019, they performed at the Cotton Bowl and were recently recognized in the Dallas metropolitan area as the number one rated band program for the 2019-2020 school year. Their mascot is the Golden Bear, which probably explains their gold and white uniforms. Tonight, the band is being led in the parade by Mr. Javari Simmons, and they're performing hits from Grammy Award-winning artists like Bruno Mars and Janet Jackson. And enjoy the sounds of hits like Nothing On You and Go Deep from the new soul of the South. Look at them go. And next up is our polar to 1,300 pounds. These beautiful creatures were actually the largest carnivores on land. A little intimidating, right? Yeah, did you know that their fur is not actually white, as you might think? It is transparent and reflects the sunlight to help them blend into their surroundings. And this float has 33 members riding tonight, including the former Knights of Momus President Robert Klein and former King Frivolous Lawrence Estes, along with Ron Woods, the former U.S. Attorney. Beautiful evening. We are so glad to have you with us tonight here on KPRC Channel 2. Again, you are watching the 34th annual Knights of Momus Grand Night Parade live, and the fun is just beginning. Stay with us. We're going to take a quick break. The Knights of Momus Grand Night Parade on KPRC is presented by Landry's, Golden Nugget Lake Charles, and the Post Oak Hotel. At Saltgrass, we're all about great steaks, but there is a lot more to our story. Farm to table ingredients, freshly caught seafood, and our famous craft cocktails. Great certified Angus beef steaks, and a whole lot more. Come taste the greatness. Saltgrass Steakhouse. Cirque du Soleil presents Alegria in a new light. Our iconic show, beloved by fans around the world. Alegria, from February 29th to April 12th, under the big top at Sam Houston Race Park. Tickets on sale at Cirque du Soleil.com. I have traveled the world, but in Texas, only one beer will do. And that beer... It's not here. Cut! Why is there no beer? You guys had one job. One! It's supposed to be about beer, there's no beer. Favor for Kim? Yo! Thanks. All right. Okay, let's do this. Sorry for crying. Get beer and wine from HEB delivered free in under an hour, only with Favor. 
If you have something you'd like Channel 2 Investigates to check out, call the tip line at 713-223-TIPS or email investigates at kprc.com. I need a tissue. <laughs> I made this into a baby shark lampshade. You've got to come see this. This is going to be amazing for social media. <laughs> in these weird conversations on TV. Know. Hey, Houston, you like to laugh. I like to make people laugh. It's meant to be. The Tonight Show is on weeknights right after KPRC Channel 2 News at 10. So what do you guys want to do this weekend? How about a girls weekend? Girls weekend! Golden Nugget Lake Charles, a two-hour drive from Houston. to the 34th annual Knights of Momus Grand Night Parade live right here on KPRC Channel 2. We are so glad to have you with us. Yeah, we certainly are. Christina Well and Derek Shore joining you tonight for this beautiful parade. It is such a beautiful night right here in front of Pleasure Pier. We have hundreds of thousands of people on the island tonight to celebrate this wonderful parade. Now in its 34th year on the island and really there's a long history involved with this parade, Derek. There certainly is. The 34th annual as we mentioned one of many parades but arguably the biggest and the best and right the best, without a doubt <laughs> and what you're seeing right now the ball high school R J R O T C 10 hut marching our way galveston's own ball high school army junior reserve officers training corps this jrotc was first founded in 1935 by world war one and world war ii veteran lieutenant colonel max clark a galvestonian who formed the organization between the world wars it is the first high school ROTC. West Army officers soared. And currently these students are training with Galveston's own Sea Star base, participating in things such as boaters education, sailing, fishing, knot tying, and a whole lot more. These practices will hopefully lead the students to a maritime career education, sailing, fishing, knot tying, and a whole lot more. These practices will hopefully lead the students to a maritime career and education right here at Texas A&M University, Galveston's Maritime Time Academy. Let's give these cadets a great round of applause for their honorable service. Very nice. And as they make their way from the seawall all the way down to the strand, this parade route is lined with an estimated hundreds of thousands of eager parade goers this year. Yeah, and at least two to three million beads will be thrown tonight as well. We've already seen the confetti flying, but really we couldn't ask for a more beautiful evening. It is a crisp evening, but it is and it is cool, but it is dry and the energy is palpable and it is so fun to be down here on this wonderful night for this parade. Now, by the way, tonight joining the Ball High School JROTC, we also have the Ball High School Band and Tornets drill team. You'll see them in just a moment. We got the pom-poms going and everything. The Golden Tornado Marching Band, also from Galveston's Ball High School. It's under the direction of Stephen Farrell and Andrew Vowell. Drum majors, Tavin Gray and Ali Musawi. Yeah, this elite band strutting their stuff in purple and gold uniforms, just like the custom Mardi Gras colors. They perform a variety of entertaining tunes tonight. This crowd is a moving and a grooving for this island native group. But did you know, Christine, the date of Mardi Gras depends on the date of Easter. So essentially, the idea is that revelers can eat, drink, carouse, and, you know, have all the fun before they have to give it up for Lent or the Lenten season. Yeah, Mardi Gras, actually a French term meaning Fat Tuesday. The term arose from the custom of parading a fat ox through the streets on Shrove Tuesday, the day before Ash Wednesday, which, of course, is the beginning of Lent. And as we mentioned, and 
Mardi Gras Galveston was publicly observed on the island as early as 1867. You can see that uh, things have changed a bit since that time. Yeah, but of all the things that have changed, there's so many things that have not. And really, the, the eating and drinking, the carousing, the, the making merry during Mardi Gras continues to be the same, attempting to satiate the desires of the flesh prior to the abstinence observed during the Lenten season. And although Mardi Gras is a Christian tradition, its origins lie in the ancient Roman custom of merrymaking before a period of fasting. So really, it is a tradition that is, is a long time going and such a wonderful one at that. And let's take a moment and listen into the Ball High School Band. And right now, we do want to send it down to Lauren Kelly, who has some wonderful guests this evening. Hi, Lauren. This is the King and the Queen float, King Fibulous 105. Are you having a good time so far? Great time, great time. This is not your first rodeo, is it? No, it's not. It's not. My first rodeo is king, of course, but been doing this for 30 years. Is it a, a pressure to wear that crown every year? Oh, definitely, definitely. Is it heavy? It's a, no, it's not heavy. And what's really cool, this is Franny, your granddaughter, who's our queen. Yes, ma'am. Are you having a good time? A great time. You look beautiful. You lost your voice. What happened? Oh, I went a little too hard last night. Screaming. <laughs> yeah. That was for Tina's party, the San Luis Saloon. All right, you guys, Derek and Christine, we're live here from The King and the Queen's Flow. Back to you guys. Oh, my goodness. Leave it to Lauren Kelly to find her way onto the King and Queen's Float. By the way, King Frivolous, the 106th, Gary Peters is a sixth generation native of Galveston, a charted member of the Knights of Momus since it was reorganized. Gary's been active in Mardi Gras Galveston for many years, serving as Momus president, treasurer, float captain, parade, bead chairman. Wow, that's a big job, the I bead know. chairman. He's currently a member of the executive committee, and when not celebrating Mardi Gras, Gary dedicates his time to a number of local nonprofit boards and committees. And I love that the sign of a true king, no, this crown is not heavy. I love that. <laughs> yeah. And the Momus Queen, Franny Kusnerik, is a graduate of Galveston's Ball High School and is a junior at Texas State University, majoring in psychology with a focus on family and child development. She's an active member of the Delta Zeta sorority. Franny also volunteers as a counselor at the Rainbow Connection Camp. That's a camp for children children who have been diagnosed with cancer or other blood disorders. And by the way, this runs in the family for Franny. Her relatives have a rich history and lineage of Momus leadership and royalty during Mardi Gras Galveston. And now she and her grandfather can join in the family tradition. No wonder she lost her voice. She was she was up late partying last night. Oh, yes. And really, yes, because we all know that tonight is not the first night of the, 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 the real, the entire experience of Mardi Gras Galveston has been going on for a few days. And you can see, I mean, these people People are, are diehards out here. They believe in this. They love the tradition. And we don't blame them one bit. They certainly are. It was so great tonight before the parade as we were getting set up. So many Channel 2 viewers came up and said hi and told us their stories about what Mardi Gras Galveston means to them. And I met people from Corpus Christi, from Dallas. People come from all around the state for this weekend because they love this uh, Knights of Momus Grand Night Parade so much. Yes, hundreds of thousands of people have have made their way onto the island and to really celebrate such a wonderful tradition and the parade that these floats and everything that has gone into making this production, this this beautiful production, uh, is, is months and in, in, if not a year in the making. Look at that float, adorned in sea life. I love that. Beautiful colors. And again, we're hearing the rumbles of the band and the, the drums and the... All the instruments. I love it so much, Derek. That is the Royal High School Band, Christine. Marching Sound Machine Band from Royal High School. Under the direction of Gary S. Miller, Jr., these students are playing Friends by TLC and Stay By by Eternal. One of the themes is that these high school bands, they go for contemporary pop songs, many of them. And you can see the crowd is loving that. Drum majors Ariana Silva and Xavier Evans are leading the red, white, and blue 
group tonight. And you can hear the talent here. For five years in a row, the band has placed in every single competition they have performed in. They were also honored by Houston's Mayor Sylvester Turner for re receiving first place in the Black Heritage Society MLK Parade of 2019. And real quick, let's listen in. Sure. <laughs> well, good thing it doesn't, right? Okay, you're taking a look right now at La Gras Cow Float. Move Mardi Gras, over. move on <laughs> over, right? Mardi Gras would not be Mardi Gras Galveston without our duchesses. Here come the 2020 Knights of Momus duchesses on the cow float, sponsored by Knights of Momus. Yeah, the 24 duchesses who comprise the court of King Frivolous CV were presented last Saturday at the Knights of Momus co uh, coronation held at Galveston's historic Grand 1894 Opera House just as it has been for the past 100 years. And in case you're wondering how the duchesses are chosen, these extraordinary women, women have been chosen by the Knights of Momus as royalty this year. Their families and relatives have participated in Mardi Gras festivities for generations. And do I believe I see a toucan coming down the way? I think I do. Flying through the parade is the toucan float sponsored by the Knights of Moments as well. One of the most famous toucans you know is Toucan Sam, the Fruit Loops mascot. He's <laughs> been searching for that delicious cereal since 1963. I wonder if you ever found it. And I here, certainly did. Here's a fun fact for you, Christine. Did you know that the toucan's bill can grow to up to half the length of its body? That's a big bill. <laughs> that is a big bill indeed. Hey, by the way, speaking of birds, fly in over to Kima Boardwalk if you want to check out all the fantastic shops, restaurants, seafood to roller coasters. The Kima Boardwalk really does, just like tonight's parade, it has something for everyone. And right now we are getting a live look at Stalis Skyline High School Band. Give them a warm welcome to the Raider Marching Band from Skyline High. They've traveled far to be here today, all the way from Dallas. And by the way, any Cowboys fans out there, the spectacular 200-member band in red, white, and blue is led by drum major Kenneth Harvey. These students will perform MLK, Happy Birthday, Uptown Funk, and Get Ready. I'm always so impressed by the talent of these groups. The Skyline Raider Band are star performers from the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. Their motto is hard work pays off. I do not disagree with that. And this group is known for really being able to bring the house down. And the crowd is really loving it. I mean, we're talking tens of thousands of people have lined right in front of Pleasure Pier along the parade route. They've been here for hours, and the party really got started a few days ago, but it's really picked up tonight for sure. It's so interesting when you look at the crowd estimates, too. Someone earlier today was telling us that Mardi Gras Galveston, at this time of year, when you have hundreds of thousands of people descending upon this island, it increases the population times four, times five. There are yes. so many people who come down, not just to have a good time, but really to keep their family tradition and those memories alive. Yes, and it really creates such an economic boom for the island, which is so important. And we know that the folks around here, they love that. And really, this is this makes up the fabric of the community here on the island. This is something they look forward to and work towards each and every year. And it really, this is a family event where they come each year. You see the kids out there, they grow bigger each year with their beads around their neck. And this is something that really is special to so many families, not just local to Galveston, or even Houston, but also families from all over the country. And of course, tonight, as part of our team coverage, we have both Lauren Kelly and Chief Meteorologist Frank Billingsley hanging out with us. And by the way, Frank Billingsley might as well be the mayor of Galveston. Frank, having a good time? Who are you hanging out with? I, I'm with Bill Anthony. 
Thank you. 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 Thank
decked out in purple and gray, is led in the parade today by Epifianona Ortiz and Daniela Vasquez and also Louis Trevino. And they will be performing hits like Seven Nation Army, Everything She Wants, and Talking in Your Sleep. This is a catchy performance. Let's listen in. I believe there it is, the Landry's fire truck. Stop, drop, and roll. The Landry's Incorporated bright red fire truck is rounding the corner. Get ready to sound those sirens. Boy, are they on fire tonight. <laughs> and Landry's Incorporated has been a part of Mardi Gras Galveston for decades, a proud sponsor of KPRC Channel 2's live television coverage tonight. And I've got to say, it has been such an honor working with them. Without a doubt. All right, we do want to get to Lauren Kelly. Hi, Lauren. How's it going out there? Hey, guys. Guys, I did hear that this is the most fun float to be on, the Landry's fire truck. And as you can see, we're just stopping and going as we're handing out these beats. I got the brand new Rockets memorabilia hat on. Thank you to Paige for Tina. Are you having a good time? It's the best time. You can't ask for more fun than that. I like when I got on this float, Paige. You told me this is the best one. Why? Oh, uh, well, look at us. Okay, I don't know if you can get everybody on this fire truck, but the fire truck is the funnest float in the parade every year. And we have Dave Wood with us right it's here. The coldest. The coldest float. Dave said it's the coldest. I got to show all of you guys. You've been passing out the beads. Are you having a good time? Having a great time. Hey, Mom. I love it because you told me your mom has to see you on TV absolutely, tonight. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're having a great time. Paige, thank you again for having us. for being here, and thanks for being part of it this absolutely. year. It's we're having a great time from the Landry's fire truck. Thank Back you. to you guys. And you see those beautiful hats. Lauren, thank you that she's wearing. Um, Tillman Fertitta is going to be actually throwing out 3,000 of those Rockets hats made with the Mardi Gras logo. So they're special edition. You can't even buy them, Derek. Special edition. If you know friends or family who are down on the route, have them keep an eye out for those hats because my prediction is they will become a collector's item. By the way, Paige Fertitta, uh, who Lauren was just speaking, Speaking with last night, the Fertitta family hosted the annual San Luis Salute Gala, where all proceeds from the ball benefited the University of Texas Medical Branch at Galveston. And this year's salute again marked the largest gala in Galveston history. The ball was a blast with a performance by the chain smokers who packed the dance floor with their fire number closer. Some might say the performance was too hot to handle. Very, very nice. Also, it was so great to see Dave Ward on that float, bundled up like the rest of us. Jim and Dancy Ware, founding members of the Knights of Momus. A lot of familiar faces in tonight's crowd and on tonight's floats. Without a doubt, because this is a tradition for so many families. And so many families here in Galveston, this is something they look forward to and they work hard every year. And it is a sign of pride, Derek, for folks here that really this makes up the fabric of their hometown. Oh, it certainly is. It certainly is. Also, uh, as you mentioned earlier tonight, it's so great that as these marching bands go by, you really can feel the thunder and the vibration of their sound. Yes, without a doubt. Yeah, we're we're sharing, showing you right here on Channel 2 sort of the sights and sounds and vibe of, of the parade, and we certainly appreciate you being here. But for the folks that are, are lying the streets right now, it is, it is an energy that is certainly palpable and one that you really have to experience at some point in your life if this is not something that you do every year. And Frank Billingsley is still out in the crowd. You know, he's such a friendly guy. He makes new friends everywhere he goes. Let's toss it back over to him to see who he's hanging out with. It's running buddies, uh, I should say. Right? Rick Chandler. Running buddies? Yeah. I've never seen him run. Oh, there you go. Uh, you're here from New York City? All the way from New York. Yeah. My wife, Martha. Wow, do they do this on Wall Street? I wish I did this on Wall Street, because no one parties like Galveston people. That's so true. I don't blame you for coming all this way. The guy behind you, another one of the... Uh, oh, uh, oh, Wall that's Street, the chief. taking him in right now, okay. Wall Street. Yeah. It's Chief Art. How are you, sir? Uh, we're doing great. We're here with uh, all of our friends, and we got Senator Whitmire here, and almost Sarah Co Senator hey. Alvarado's here, and we're just having a good time with the community, man. That's all about. Well, it's a well-behaved crowd. Lots of Always good people. Always a well-behaved crowd, but, you know, Houston PD's here with Galveston, uh, DPS. We're all here together, League City, all the agencies making sure everybody's safe, and that's really important. Oh, yeah. There are a lot of blue and red lights. You know what else we're doing? We're taking hats like this that Tillman got. Yeah. We're throwing them the people. <laughs> Oh, give me that one. Hey, he's, he's my rockets here. That is a 
premium. Hand me that hat real quick. Hand me your hat. I'll give it back to you. Look at this. This is all, this is the hat that Tillman was talking about. Mardi Gras 2020, right there with the rockets. These are only on Tillman's floats, right? Only only Tillman Fertitta knows how to have product placement everywhere you go. It's brilliant. <laughs> well, Advertising it's, everywhere. It's that kind of, so far, I've been in a, a Thor hat and now a Rockets hat. And we'll see what's next. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Have a great Happy time. Mardi Happy Mardi Gras. Christine, Derek, back to you. painting just adds to the allure. It really does. And you know, Frank Billingsley really does wear a lot of hats in his daily life. It's only appropriate that he would go from a Rockets hat, from a Vikings horn hat, so we love that. Very, very and nice. And there is Tillman Fertitta right there throwing out those those customized Rockets hats for Mardi Gras 2020. 3,000 that he's throwing out into the crowd. That is probably the, odd, the hottest item in town right now on the island. Yeah, with Mardi Gras 2020 right there embroidered on the back of those caps. I can see them uh, actually unboxing some brand new caps as we speak, so keep an eye out for those things. Oh, yeah, get them while they're hot. Yeah, one of a kind collector's items, again, branded with the Houston Rockets logo on the front. And actually, Tillman Fertitta, when he was sitting there on Houston Life a few days ago, is the one, he actually said, hey, we have these hats, we're going to be doing this, so come on down. And I'm sure that folks actually came out specifically for this hat, these hats, and we actually have one right on set with us. Yeah, we were lucky enough to get our hands on one. By the way, in addition uh, to the hats tonight, there is a lot of confetti, a lot of beads, a lot of confetti. Uh, what are who's going to clean all that up tomorrow morning? I don't know. Uh, I think they asked us to stick around, didn't they? I don't, they didn't say why. I, I think <laughs> perhaps we got to do a little cleaning and shop around here. But first, before the Sign cleaning, there's the fun, right? That's right. That's right. And here, there we have our nice uh, rockets cap on our desk. You're still seeing Tillman in the crowd, tossing out more hats, along with the Landry's fire truck. Yeah, and again, each year, the design of these hats will change, making these items exclusive to the year that they were thrown. Once they are gone, they are gone. These these hats are not available for purchase. So if you're out in the crowd right now, that is something you want to get your hands on. And as the parade makes its way from the seawall all the way down toward the strand, we are now taking a look at the Thor float. Speaking of thunder, in addition to the thunder we've heard from the parades, the Thor float is sponsored by Landry's Incorporated. Yeah, be on the lookout for these Landry's floats. They are, again, throwing those rocket hats. So look, but look at the design, Derek, on this float. They put so much time and effort and work into every detail, and then they're so proud to show it off. Earlier this week, by the way, if you've been watching Channel 2, you may have seen Lauren Kelly's coverage. She actually went inside where they store so many of these floats, and she described it as endless. There are so many of them every single year, and uh, again, this doesn't happen overnight. There's a lot of love and time and patience and work that goes into creating these floats. You know, we talk about this really being a family affair. I know that even some of the kids were out there helping out mom and dad and other folks on the on the floats and I've been seeing a few of these little ones running around with more beads around their neck they're about to fall over but hey you know really it's a, it's a family affair the Mardi Gras parade and it's so wonderful to see so many folks out here tonight and I think that was uh, police chief Art Acevedo who just threw a gigantic bunch of beads out into the crowd people are certainly lined up to get their own collection started oh yeah we're talking millions of beads here maybe one maybe two million I wouldn't want to be the one who has to count them but really it is it is quite colorful out here, as you would expect the Mardi Gras parade to be, and we're certainly glad that you're joining us for here for our coverage of the 34th annual Night of Momus Grand Night Parade right here on Channel 2. We'll be right back after this break. The Knights of Momus Grand Night Parade on KPRC is presented by Landry's, Golden Nugget Lake Charles, and the Post Oak Hotel. At Saltgrass, we're all about great steaks, but there is a lot more to our story. Farm to table ingredients, freshly caught seafood, and our famous craft cocktails. Great certified Angus beef steaks, and a whole lot more. Come taste the greatness. 
Saltgrass Steakhouse. It's Saturday, day two of the Rooms to Go Katy Distribution Center and our Willowbrook and Humble Outlets three-day warehouse sale. Thousands of items remain in every furniture category. And today, savings increase up to 35% off our low warehouse direct prices. Plus, get amazing prices on discontinued and closeout merchandise. Shop early. What you want may be gone tomorrow, Sunday, the last day, when savings increase to 55% off. That's the Rooms to Go Katy Distribution Center and our Willowbrook and Humble Outlets three-day warehouse sale. Donald Trump failed as a businessman. He borrowed billions and left a trail of bankruptcy and broken promises. He hasn't changed. I started a tiny investment business and over 27 years grew it successfully to $36 billion. I'm Tom Steyer and I approve this message. I'm running for president because unlike other candidates, I can go head to head with Donald Trump on the economy and expose him for what he is, a fraud and a failure. Stream Channel 2 News whenever you want on ClickToHouston.com. Join me for an evening of Black Girl Magic at the 2020 HCC Black History Scholarship Gala, Saturday, February 29th. Lynn Whitfield and Robin Gibbons speak on the empowerment of the black woman. For tickets, go to hccs.edu forward slash black history. So what do you guys want to do this weekend? How about a girls weekend? Girls weekend! Golden Nugget Lake Charles, a two-hour drive from Houston. the 34th annual Knights of Momus Grand Night Parade. We are having such a good time tonight down in Galveston. And of course, we are so glad to have you with us right here on KPRC Channel 2. Yeah, we have the best seat in the house, I'd say, Derek. And we have tens of thousands of people that have lined the streets to see the spectacle that is the Mardi Gras Parade here in Galveston. And you're seeing right now the Westbury High School Band, the blue and gray, headed this way. Tonight, we rolled out the red carpet for this team they do have some pretty no school band the blue and gray headed this way tonight we rolled out the red carpet for this team they do have some pretty notable performances yeah this marching band has performed at this disney festival fantasy parade at disney world super bowl 51 and nfl experience and the chevron houston marathon these young folks under the direction of reginald washington and of course any marching band takes so much time and discipline they do such a fantastic job and we are certainly glad to have them with us here tonight in galveston i know you can see those plumes sort of blown in the breeze it is a breezy one out here but it is dry and the energy is palpable let's listen in for a moment creature is the length of get this 10 ships Woo! so in other words it's real big it's huge yeah legend or not i'm not messing with the kraken right who knows what actually <laughs> lurks in the depths of the ocean <laughs> i love it probably a good thing they don't have these gigantic sea monsters on exhibit at landry's own downtown aquarium in houston guys have you been to the aquarium such a great family adventure spot they do have an underwater aquatic adventure with a 150,000 gallon aquarium home to more than 400 different species of colorful tropical marine life by the way they also recently opened a brand new uh, and expanded four million dollar outdoor tiger habitat right there in downtown houston who That's knew it, yeah, it's really wonderful such a wonderful place for families to go right here or right in houston for sure 
And again, they're making that turn right there in front of Pleasure Pier. And that's really where we've seen a lot of activity because that's where we're perched. But this is right where the floats are cruising through. We have thousands of people right around us, confetti flying, beads flying. And here we go. We're on to the next one. Thurgood Marshall High School Band, y'all. Quick take cover. A mighty stampede is marching this way, and you're seeing it right there. The Thurgood Marshall High School Marching Band, the Sound Justice, also known as the Mighty Stampede. They are donning their black and gold for a pretty nice look. I'd say it's pretty fierce, as fierce I, as their sound. I would say so. So put your hands together to welcome the Thurgood Marshall High School Marching Band. The Viking ship floats, sailing up the street all the way from Scandinavia. The Viking's beloved ship, the Long Ship. This is sponsored by the Knights of Momus. And the Vikings were famous for their effective sea travel. And at the center of it were those double-ended ships. Those ships sure are sturdy. They're made all the way to Galveston in time for the Momus Grand Night Parade, I'd say, wouldn't y'all? <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Most people, by the way, might not know that Viking ships were usually embellished with decorative headpieces such as dragon and snake heads, and maybe that was to scare off any threats they might encounter out at sea. I don't think they scared off the Kraken, though, because we just saw the Kraken oh, a moment ago. Oh, yeah. But they can try. We love to watch them try. We're right? not afraid of the Kraken. No, we're not. At least the Kraken. Oh, we already did. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Joy Fertitta go by, the grandparents of Blaine and Patrick Fertitta, who are with me now. Blaine, uh, senior in college? Senior in college, senior in college. And last senior. year's queen? Last year's queen, yes. Yeah, that was with Usher. That was awesome. It was fantastic. Uh, so you've literally grown up with this. I've been coming to this, to Galveston Mardi Gras from as long as I can remember, and I, I mean, it only gets better every single year. Growing up around this, it's it's truly such a special experience for, for me and my entire family. Oh, must be amazing. Patrick? Yes, sir. You've been at this a while. I know all your buddies are in town from everywhere. Absolutely. You know, this is something we look forward to every year. It's a great night for the city of Galveston. It's a great night for our family. This city and this parade means so much to us. And it seems like every year the crowd gets bigger, the parties get better, and we just look forward to doing this for years to come. Yeah, well, we're doing our best here. You know, this is our first time to cover the parade on Channel 2. And so far, the weather's worked out, the crowd has worked out, and all of y'all have worked out. Hey, I'm just happy to see you here. I know it's a good party of Frank's in town. <laughs> That's right. Well, you heard it here first, folks. Patrick, Blaine, thank y'all so much. Thank you. Happy Mardi Gras to both of you. Derek, just throw some beans at that camera. Yeah, without, without a doubt. <laughs> It is so true. It is a party when Frank Billingsley is in town. By the way, that was the Hightower High School band that went by during Frank's interview. It's a 70-member band directed by Ryan Clift with assistant directors Jordan Stevens, Agatha Raleigh, Justin McLean, and Adriana Hafford. Very nice. The Hightower High School band. And also love hearing from the Fertitta kids. It's really a family affair for them. This is something that they, they love each and every year. We do want to get now to Lauren Kelly, who's also also having a wonderful night. Who are you with tonight, Lauren? Well, we are on the slot machine float that is sponsored by the Golden Nugget, one of my favorite places in Lake Charles. I've got some U of H representation right now. I've got the U of H Chancellor, Renu Couture, and the U of H, uh, I'm sorry, the U of H head football coach, Dana Holgerson. Cougars in the house tonight. Absolutely. Are you having a fun time? Oh, absolutely. A lot of fun. Now, Dana, if your players wanted to get on and practice their arm by throwing beads, would you allow that's what this is all about. You get out and you have a good time with a bunch of people. You throw a bunch of beads. I got some good UH beads right here. Oh, too. let's see. What else beads you have? Well, I don't know. I mean, there's a couple I of UH ones and all that. Too. Go. All that all red and white. Yeah. <laughs> red and white. Go, Coops. I'm going to hook you up with some KPRC beads. Yeah. Um, is this your first time at Mardi Gras Galveston? Not for me at all. This is my probably sixth or seventh time. And for you, yep. Dana? The second time. So I came back last year. And I was here last year, a wonderful time, and I couldn't wait to come back. Well, I'm going to hook you guys up with some KPRC beads, and then we'll get Let's back. Go. Let's get a Go Cougs. Ready? Go Cougs! Back to you guys. 
the way, that slot machine float, a.k.a. the one-armed bandit, is sponsored by the Golden Nugget. And uh, did you know that while Landry's Incorporated hasn't opened a casino in London yet, they do have locations in so many different spots, Christine? Yeah, without a doubt, while Landry's Incorporated has not opened a casino in London yet, so yeah, they have spots in Vegas, Lake Charles, Atlantic City, Biloxi, and Laughlin. More than just a casino, visitors can actually experience exciting entertainment, electrifying gaming action, and also award-winning dining, as you know. And this is the Stephen F. Austin High School Band. Prepare to be blown away. They are known as the Sonic Boom Black, Green, and White Marching Band, here to show us what they're made of. They received a Congressional Award of Recognition as well. They were recognized with a City of Houston proclamation and are the recipients of the 2019 Drum Major for Justice Award. Some talented folks here. A group of young stars out there. into this parade. Folks are really feeling the energy. I mean, this is what they're here for, Derek. They wait all year long for the spectacle that is the Mardi Gras parade, and it really, I'm so impressed. The show, the show out up here is awesome. Absolutely, and that right there, you're having a first look of the reindeer float prancing through the parade, also sponsored by Knights of Momus. Yeah, hopefully you're able to catch a, a quick glimpse of the Scandinavian, Scandinavian deer. It can run as fast as 50 kilometers per hour. And right Riding on the reindeer float, Larry Gillespie, a Knights of Momus parade captain and former King Frivolous. Yeah, and just a fun fact about the beads. I mean, we're talking about at least two to three million beads tonight here at the parade. And beads actually became a staple throw in the late 1800s. This is not a new thing, but boy, did it stick, right? They were first thrown by Santa Claus in 1871 and a tradition that really has just exploded from then on. That is so great. And this reindeer certainly uh, has his share of beef there. <laughs> Hanging on the antlers. Throws are the inexpensive baubles. You may have heard that word. Baubles or trinkets tossed from floats to parade watchers. And you might hear people yelling traditionally, throw me something, mister. Throw me something, mister. And I then mean, they do. I know. That's a line I've been using my entire life. I know. I've been kind of ducking and weaving. Apparently I should just try to catch the beads, but I mean, they're flying everywhere, and really, it's it's what makes tonight so fun, you know? And the more you catch, the better off you are, right? I still can't believe I can't get over this fact that Vikings did not traditionally wear the horns. <laughs> I know. Trying to wrap your head around that one. But yeah, there's, again, so much tradition that goes into this that you didn't know until you experienced Mardi Gras Galveston. Next year, we got to get ourselves a nice set of horns, Christine. I, I say so. I know. Very, very nice. And that reindeer is going to be loaded with beads by the time they get down to the strand. I know it. I know it. And really, they everyone along this parade route has uh, really the best seat in the house, Derek. Well, and even though, again, it is a little bit chilly, it has been such a beautiful day. The confetti keeps flying. And as you can see, the spirits in the crowds are high. People are having a good time here with their families. I met in the crowd earlier many generations within the same family. Family. So you have grandparents and grandchildren. It really is great for the entire family. And again, this is a huge economic boom for Galveston. I mean, we see what they say five times the amount of people than they usually do during this time of year. So it really just attracts so many from, from all across the state and all across the country that want to experience this one-of-a-kind type parade. Again, so much tradition and so much fun, and it's really awesome to be able to highlight the talent that we have here in our state that travels to be a part of this parade. And coming down seawall right now, you can see there on your screen, James Madison High School Band, the Ocean of Thunder Imperial Marching Band. It's a 70-member group. They definitely have talent. And tonight, they are led by head director Evan Fontenet and assistant director Miguel Garcia, along with three top-tier drum majors, the Color Guard and Dancers. Uh, he's got moves. I love it. Oh, yeah. The Ocean of Thunder Imperial Marching Band has participated in many events around the city of Houston, including the downtown MLK Parade and the Six Flag Fiesta Texas performance in the park. And stay with us as the 34th Annual Knights of Momus Grand Night Parade continues on KPRC Channel 2. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. The Knights of Momus Grand Night Parade on KPRC is presented by Landry's, Golden Nugget Lake Charles, and the Post Oak Hotel. Fun and adventure at three great parks all year long.
Weekend Adventure passes and tickets online now. So come have fun at the Downtown Aquarium, Kima Boardwalk, and Galveston Island Pleasure Pier. Oh, yeah! Cirque du Soleil presents Alegria in a new light. Our iconic show, beloved by fans around the world. Alegria, from February 29th to April 12th, under the big top at Sam Houston Race Park. Tickets on sale at CirqueDuSoleil.com. What's it like to shop for mattresses at the New Star? It's like a lazy day at the beach. Or a leisurely stroll through a forest. Come see our new one-of-a-kind 50-foot projection wall and enjoy the sights and sounds of beautiful scenery while you find your perfect mattress. It's like no other shopping experience anywhere. And you can only find it at the new Star. Have you downloaded the MyHEB app yet? If you love HEB like I do, this app is next level awesome. It makes life as simple as, well, real simple. Oh yeah. Like easier delivery and curbside pickups when you're too busy to shop for this or that. Lots of digital coupons so you can save on that and that. You can even scan the items you buy most to your cart. Ooh, it's my favorite. It's my salsa. With HEB at your fingertips, no app does more than my HEB. Catch off the sports action. Sports Sunday on KPRC Channel 2. It's time to crack it, crush it, love it at Joe's Crab Shack. The best part? It's as easy as one, two, three. Step one, order a delicious entree like an Arctic-based steam pot or crack into Joe's famous barbecue crab. You can even play with your food. Step two, dive into a creative cocktail or longboard lemonade and crush it. And loving it? That's easy. Watch the kids paint their own dessert. And step three, do a post-meal victory dance. Visit today and crack it, crush it, love it. Only at Joe's Crab Shack. Welcome back to the 34th annual Knights of Moments Grand Night Parade with Derek Shore and Christine Noel. We're certainly glad you're joining us right now. We are looking at the Hella Float Heart are sure to speed up right now. The hell of patient account management companies in the nation. And uh, I've got to say, they sure have a hell of a good float. They do have a hell of a good float. I do hear you saying <laughs> And you know, she might not react, but rumor has it, Hella has been a frequent foe of Thor. Oh. I wonder who would win in a battle between those two. Interesting. I know. Interesting question. I love all the skulls on the front of that float. It really is so great and very nostalgic for so many of us because even if maybe the this is your first time tuning into the Mardi Gras Galveston parade on television. For so many of us, we grew up watching parades, and going to a parade was not just Mardi Gras Galveston parade on television. For so many of us, we grew up watching parades, and going to a parade was not just about the excitement and the sounds and the bands, but it was a family tradition. It certainly is, and we're seeing so many families out here. I can't even count the number of kids I've seen running around with the beads and one of those new rockets had from Tilman Fertitta that he was throwing around out earlier. So really so a wonderful family affair out here tonight in Galveston. Also, a lot of uh, tutus, by the way. You just saw the tutu live crew. And it's an impressive group of women, the island's first all-female marching crew. So check that out, Christine. Yeah, and also, onto our dragon flow. Don't touch flying towards beautiful dragon float sponsored by Knights of Momus, and it sure is bringing the heat tonight, if you ask me. Yeah, one of the most fearsome creatures in Norse mythology. Dragons are surprisingly easy to weigh <laughs> because they come with their own scales. Oh, I see what you Get it? <laughs> you weigh the dragon with the scales? The, um, but um, um, yes, yeah. they may not be throwing a bunch of those scales out today, but hopefully the festive beads will be thrown out instead. The trick. Hopefully he'll head back to his cave soon. Yeah, hopefully. After Mardi Gras. Don't yes. worry. No but one... first, a party, right? That's right. That's right. The confetti is amazing out here, really. And when the light hits it, it is certainly a spectacle to be seen. It just adds to the energy and the feel out here for the parade. I still can't get over the 2-2 live crew. Those women, so fantastic. Let's move on to the West Orange Stark High School Band. All the way from Orange, Texas, the M3 Band from West Orange Stark High School. Yeah, 
This is the third time this Navy Blue and Silver Rock Stars have performed at Mardi Gras Galveston, and we're so glad to have them back. Yeah, the 70 member ensemble is led by directors Tommy Gladney and Jerron King, alongside drunk majors Ignacia Johnson and Camille Queen. And we've been talking about how good the music is out here tonight, and tonight we get the treat of hearing these mighty Mustangs play some hits by Janet Jackson, Cut Close, Usher, and a whole lot more. a wonderful evening out here already with the weather has really been it's a little chilly we mentioned that but the sun was shining earlier we had a beautiful sunset and really it's been it's been so nice to have a parade in this kind of night a little chilly uh for texas we should point out right, right. because in late february it almost feels like summer folks down here in galveston By the way, I've been brushing up on my uh, my lingo, Christine, and uh, it turns out that the Pirate Head is sort of a big deal. Tell you okay? Sponsored by the Knights of Momus, and uh, ye commands the attention of every matey on the seven seas. Oh, that was good. Can I get yeah. an arr? Arr. Arr. Yeah, That was a good one. I think yours is better than mine. You go. Arr. The, you got to get the growl. Okay, Don't worry, guys. I won't, we won't quit our day jobs. We hear you. Loud this is such a great float, by the way. Also, one of the oldest in tonight's parade, designed and commissioned by the famous New Orleans float builder, Blaine Kern. Yeah, this float was actually barged along with a dozen more floats brought to Galveston Harbor back in 1985. So be sure to give this float a big round of applause, or you might have to walk the plank. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh, I'm actually sorry. Pirates don't say, oh, dear, do they? We say, oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, matey. <laughs> so maybe they're in search of some buried treasure. Very nice. That's pretty cool. I mean, that's incredible that uh, it was barged over here in 1985. It really is incredible that these floats, again, are cared for. It takes so much time to get ready for tonight's big parade. And there are a lot of people putting in their time and money and sweat and tears to Effort, get that thing yeah. looking good as and new. Such a sense of pride. You know, we, we've been showing stories all week long on KPRC Channel 2. The folks that actually put in the, the sweat and tears behind these floats, leading months leading up to the parade. And it's it's something that is a sense of pride for the community here and really adds to the the energy and the vibrancy of Mardi Gras and it's so fun the smiles on people's faces up there whether they have a Viking hat on or thousands of beads throwing them out it's just a fun it's just so fun to be out here it's also great to look around at these crowds because people have a lot of bees around their necks I mean from from our vantage point here it's not uncommon to see people with dozens of strands of bees around their necks. Yes, I love it. I love it. Very okay. nice. All Moving right. on to Cashmere Senior High School Band. Yeah, have you checked the forecast tonight, Derek? I thought I heard the Thunder Soul Marching Band. Did we almost get hit by some bees? <laughs> we Fim certainly Folks did. are throwing bees at us. And by the way, this Cashmere it. Senior High School Band is under the direction of Ellis Williams and drum major Milton Thomas. 65 students performing Talking in Your Sleep, Torture, and Groove Me. Yeah, the Cashmere High School Band has a ton of school spirit in the red, white, and blue. And you you don't have to worry about lightning striking tonight, cause, but keep on rolling thunder soul. I love it. It's a good thing they're moving, too. Staying warm, right? Keep the beat going on and on. They've got moves like I've never seen, really. You know, I, we would pull a muscle, Derek, if we tried to do that. Hey, speak for yourself. I can, I can do that. Really? I mean, I don't know. Probably Maybe not. next week on the show. <laughs> next week on YouTube. Your mouth is, yeah, hey, by the way, have you life. had your first bite of king cake yet this season, Christine? Uh, not this season. Not this season. Okay, it is time. And, folks, by the way, king cake, obviously, it's a sugary pastry containing a plastic doll hidden inside. And uh, it depends on who you ask, but one of the traditional rumors is that the person who finds the doll is crowned king and buys the next cake or has to throw the next party. The king cake season opens on January. January 6th, the Feast of the Epiphany. Okay, so we're in king cake season right now. Oh, for we sure. Gotta, we gotta get into I say here in Texas, it, it really is year-round. King cake season is year-round. Okay, again, we are getting the sights and sounds of the 34th annual Knights of Momus Grand Night Parade here on Galveston Island. Our coverage continues 
Chiefs right after this break. The Knights of Momus Grand Night Parade on KPRC is presented by Landry's, Golden Nugget Lake Charles, and the Post Oak Hotel. Whether you're enjoying it here, ordering it here, picking it up here, or eating it here, it's back. Enjoy Shrimp Tampico Tacos and Quesadillas for a limited time. Here at Taco Cabana, order online, get it delivered. People here love Texas. It just makes you proud in having a vehicle that represents that. And so you see that Texas pride. It's not just about the things that we need, it's about what we can do for other people too. That's what it means to be a Texan, to have a true heart for your state, for your family, and for the values that are instilled by being a Texan. Florida is putting family first. Drive a new expedition today with $9,000 cash back. Ford is the best in Texas. At Saltgrass, we're all about great steaks, but there is a lot more to our story. Farm to table ingredients, freshly caught seafood, and our famous craft cocktails. Great certified Angus beef steaks, and a whole lot more. Come taste the greatness. Saltgrass Steakhouse. Hey, Houston, there's a new show in town. Houston Sports Show, every Sunday night on KPRC Channel 2. Check us out right after Sports Sunday. Call the RS and Rescue Rooter. If you have plumbing problems or a clogged drain causing big trouble, call ARS Rescue Rooter today, and your plumbing service call is absolutely free. Plus, right now, drain cleaning service is just $69, backed by our clear for a year guarantee. The plumbing pros at ARS Rescue Rooter are on the case 24-7. Commitment to comfort. That's ARS. Call 77. Our Stutter Memorial. He was a hero, man. Next ET. Monday at 6.30 on Channel 2. Come into Taco Cabana because we're serving steak fajita taco duos for only $4.99. Enjoy them with peppers and onions for $5.79. And add a 20-ounce drink for just a dollar. Taco Cabana. Order online. Get it delivered. Welcome back to the 34th Annual Knights of Momus Grand Night Parade. Hanging out with us here on Channel 2. So glad to have you with us. And that right there is a look at the George Mitchell floats. Yeah, put your hands together. Put your hands together for none other than the George Mitchell float sponsored by the Hotel Galvez. The revival of Mardi Gras. Hands together. Put your hands together for none other than the George Mitchell float sponsored by the Hotel Galvez. The revival of Mardi Gras Galveston was actually underwritten by Cynthia and George Mitchell. And the opening of Mitchell's restored Tremont House in 1985 really did launch a citywide Mardi Gras celebration that was orchestrated by native Galvestonian Dancy Ware. The Tremont, by the way, one of my favorite spots in Galveston. Oh, without a doubt. And this celebration became the midwinter event drawing tourists and national media to Galveston. And that is the Jester Head float. We are not fooling about this one. Laughing its way towards us. This is sponsored by the Knights of Momus. Yeah, and a popular symbol in Mardi Gras culture, the Jester actually represents the merriment of the festival. Many court jesters would entertain the court with songs, acrobatics, magic tricks, ju juggling, or even stories. And not every fool could sing, but there are plenty of singers who are fools, right? <laughs> right, and did you know that Mardi Gras, actually a French term for Fat Tuesday and is the final day of the carnival, the last big celebration before Ash Wednesday. Yeah, revelers can eat, drink, carouse, and make merry during Mardi Gras, attempting to, you know, satiate the desires of the flesh prior to the abstinence observed during Lent, otherwise known as the Lenten season. Yeah, and right now getting a live look at North Forest High School Band. The dog days are over, but the mighty Bulldogs here at the parade tonight. This high tempi step group in black, white, and gold is under the direction of Andrew Hickerson III. And they got moves. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the North Forest Mighty Bulldog Band. They have got moves, and the crowd is loving it out here. And again, this is how they're staying warm. It's a it's a beautiful night, but it is a little chilly, a little breezy right here, uh, right in front of Pleasure Pier. But man, we are so lucky to have such a beautiful evening for this parade. 
If only we had some batons to uh, to twirl. I game. think we would hurt somebody with a baton little, accidentally. Be a little warmer. It's probably safer that we Warm just sit up. here and enjoy the show. <laughs> they are so talented. That North Forest High School band, they've got some moves. And this is really actually a great vantage point for all of the spectators that have come out right here in front of uh, Bubblegum Shrimp and Pleasure Pier and all the happenings out here. This is where they make the turn and folks have come from far and wide to enjoy the spectacle tonight and so much energy and so much fun. The music has been great. The floats have been beyond impressive and, and they really, the organizers, they promise bigger and better this year and this is exactly what we are seeing here. Hard to believe too that Galveston first publicly observed Mardi Gras way, way back in 1867. And in fact, it was celebrated on a grand scale in Galveston starting in 1871 when two rival Mardi Gras societies or crews called the Knights of Momus and the Knights of Myth, both of which devised night parades, masked balls, exquisite costumes, and elaborate invitations. So essentially, they were dueling crews, Christine. They really were. And the first year's spectacular Revival featured a mile-long Grand Night Parade saluting the age of mythology. We were looking at just nine dazzling floats back in back in that day, created by renowned New Orleans float builder Blaine Kern, but it has grown tremendously to what we see today. And get it, we're getting another look at one of the Knights of Momus floats right now. This is getting a live look at the doubloon float. Yeah, and I hear our very own Frank Billingsley is on board the doubloon float. Tonight, Frank, we're going to toss it over to you. Hey, buddy, I'm just complaining with. about it not being warm enough for you. <laughs> but it's cool and crisp for us. We're having a good time, Rob Kirchner. You're the parade. Oh my goodness, what an honor it is. I yeah. mean, this is quite the hat. <laughs> oh, it is. A, uh, I mean, you, for months to find a hat like this. <laughs> you must be really proud. You're pulling off a fantastic parade. Oh my goodness, well, I have to contribute it to you. It's the weather that really made the yeah, event, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah, I know, right, but this takes a lot of work. It does. It's, I mean, little it's known not fact, just me, it's a whole team. I mean, it's like a huge conglomeration that I just happen to be one of the members of, essentially. So it's, yep. a, it's great. I love it. There's a ton of people out tonight. The weather's beautiful. We could have for a better night. And it gets bigger every year. Every year, definitely. Every so, event. So this is a taste of what's to come in the years ahead. We'll just try to make it bigger and better each year. That's, That's amazing. Little known fact, that used to be a moment for a couple of years. I know. <laughs> <laughs> just wanted everyone to know. That's how I know so much about all this stuff. Anyway, congratulations on a great parade. Thanks for letting Channel 2 be such a big part of it. No problem. Appreciate your guys' coverage. It's been incredible. Thank you all so much. Yeah, you bet, Rob. <laughs> all right, Christine, Derek, y'all are doing a great job. Keep it Oh my gosh, we're having such a good time. And uh, doubloons, by the way, were first introduced into Mardi Gras culture in 1959 by the Rex crew. And they have been used ever since. So each crew prints something different on their doubloons. Usually their insignia on one side and then maybe the parade theme on the other. Yeah, and unlike the light aluminum doubloons on the parade route, real doubloons weighed about seven grams. I definitely wouldn't want one of those thrown at my face. <laughs> Wait a minute, what? I know. Oh, those are heavy. I know, I know. And the value of a doubloon ranged from 7 to $9, which would be around $450 today. Oh, so, well, in, in that case, throw all the doubloons away. I know. <laughs> I know. We'll, we'll bop and we'll weave and then, uh, yeah, sell them. <laughs> You know, it really is great, too, to see Frank Billingsley out on the parade route. This is, he is so in his element. He spends so much time down here on the island uh, with his husband, Kevin. And I swear he should run for mayor of Galveston. Oh, Everyone with, knows oh him. without a doubt. Without a doubt. We love him at Channel 2. We know that folks are loving him out there. And he's loving that. I mean, this is, this is the kind of energy that you just feed off of. And... We are just loving uh, this entire evening so far. All right, so we are looking at our next float this evening, Music G Clef. Uh-oh, here comes treble. It comes treble. Get it? Yeah, yeah. Treble, like treble clef? <laughs> yep, I okay, hear you. I okay. hear you. All I right. tried, I yes, tried. Sponsored by Knights of Momus, bringing the spectacular sounds of Mardi Gras with them tonight. And, of course, without clefs, we would not be able to hear these hopping tunes. And did you know, Christine, that clef symbols are written before every piece of 
called music. So, you know, the claps are over on the left side of okay. your music. Okay, okay. Otherwise, we didn't know that we'd be in trouble, right? Oh, we'd be in oh, trouble. We'd be in big trouble. Yeah. Right. Surely the oh, party wow. never stops on that fun float. I know. We will keep our day job. <laughs> try to. We have all kinds of puns tonight. By the way, writing on this fun float tonight, former king of frivolous Johnny Lestowski. Very impressive, and the, con the confetti continues to fly here in front of Pleasure Pier. Pleasure Pier, if you haven't been in a minute, they have so many great activities. Earlier today, while the sun was shining and the sky was blue, it was so great to see people riding the rides at Pleasure Pier. This is the perfect corner to begin this parade. Oh, without a doubt. A picturesque day, really. We were standing, we were sitting outside before the parade began, looking out and going, oh my gosh, the sun sign is amazing. The, the crowds that are growing are, are wonderful, such nice people, and everyone's just here to have a great Great family friendly time and it's been such an impressive evening and it's also incredible that the beads and the confetti they just keep coming and coming they really do they're saying two to three million beads being thrown tonight which is really amazing and if you're lucky you might end up with a few of them the music G clef float you know maybe next year I should bring my trumpet along maybe they'd let me ride that float can you play no but I can you make can sound with it. Yeah. Well, yeah. the kind of sound that we're hearing from these bands is very spectacular. They, you might need, we might need to practice. We got a whole, whole year to practice. And again, we are looking at these amazing floats. That's the standing gesture float, I believe. Yes. Jesters are, as we mentioned earlier, a popular Mardi Gras symbol with a long history, bringing a smile to people, you know, the jokes, the acrobatics, all of that. Uh, I, I sort of, you know, I think that'd be fun to have around, personally. Oh, without a doubt, yeah, riding on the standing jester float is Momus board members Scott Rice and Hal Rockheim. Since the revival in 1985, Mardi Gras Galveston has grown dramatically, now expanding over two weekends. Mardi Gras Galveston is Texas's largest Mardi Gras celebration. You know, they say everything is bigger in Texas, but down here in the Galveston area, they certainly do know how to throw a party. They certainly do. This is such an impressive float as well, and we know that so much time and effort and work has gone into construction, to constructing these, these massive pieces of art that really can hold dust of people that are having a grand time. We've seen it over and over again, and we know that there's so much pride and time put into these floats. They're having such a good time. This standing jester float is sponsored by the Knights of Momus. You know, the Knights of Momus, they've got their float game together. Oh, they, they know really, what they're doing. Oh, they're definitely bringing it, as they said they would, and as we're, we are not the least bit surprised, not Oop. the least bit surprised by their show out. And I think that's a shot right there of the Milby High School Band, Charles H. Milby High School, Milby Marching Band. Yeah, and Jeremy Murray is the director of this fabulous blue and gold bunch that you're seeing performing right here on our screen tonight. They'll be playing Torture by the Jacksons, Word Up by the Cameo, and a whole lot more. Last year, the band got first place in the small band division at the 2019 Royal High School Battle of the Bands. And in 2017, they got first place in NSBA band brawl, which is really incredible. Awesome job. Yeah, and just as quick as the Spitfire group arrived, they are off again, spreading more joy around the island, but we're certainly glad to see them here tonight. crowd, people who really have come from all over the place, the locals from Galveston Island here, I met a woman earlier from Katy, people of course coming down from Houston, and I think a lot of people forget that Galveston is just a short drive, if, I, it's literally 50 miles from my house, I was here today in 50 minutes. I know, it's a very easy drive, I actually saw some folks from Denver, Colorado, where I used to live, and they were like, hey, and I was like, I'm so glad that you're here in my new hometown, it's, it's so nice. Come from afar 
to be a part of tonight because it's really a special event that people look forward to each and every year. It certainly is. And why don't we go back to Frank Billingsley hanging out in the crowd, hanging meeting all kinds crowd. of fun people. Hey, Frank. Hey, Derek. I've had the blast out here. This is a lot of fun. And you know, we have Channel 2 actually made beads this year. Look at this. that are lighting up. That I've never seen. That's very cool. Uh, so as we've been saying, the weather's perfect. The crowd is all ready to party. And it's Mardi Gras. That's what it is on Galveston Island. Family fun, a lot of fun for everybody that's come down here. And I think we're going to have probably one of the best Mardi Gras in this history, which, as you know, goes way back. Christine, Derek, back to you. It certainly does. I'm a big fan of the light-up instruments. It really adds a little extra pizzazz, don't you think? It certainly does. They sound great. They look great. Frank, you were having such a good time down there. And did you see the crowd go wild when he threw out those custom Channel 2 beads? The, the Channel 2 beads, I know, I know. We're getting our next look at another night of moments float tonight. I this think is that's a beautiful the peacock float. Yes, it certainly appears to be. Strutting its way into the Knights of Momus parade, ravishing peacock float, showing off as peacocks like to do. Yeah, the peacock is one of the largest flying birds in the in the world, with feathers making up 60% of its whole body. That's a lot of feathers. These peacock feathers are also composed or comprised of many shimmering colors, including the crescent sheen of bright blue and green. When light shines on the feathers, you can see thousands of shimmering colored spots. Oh yeah, I can see it right there on the screen. Almost like you need a pair of sunglasses that there. That is beautiful. It really is beautiful. Really incredible. The Knights of Momus have pulled out all the stops on these floats that clearly took a lot of time. I'm mesmerized by the shimmer. Mesmerized by the shimmer. You know, peacocks yes. are loud. Did you know that? That's <laughs> I a funny... did not know oh, that. Oh yeah, they're loud. They're like they're like guard dogs, and so at night they fly up into the trees, and they they'll actually make very loud sounds to warn oh, you that danger is coming. Well, who knew? Another uh, nights know. of moments. Beautiful float. We've seen so many tonight, and we are just so impressed. And and the crowds are really just loving it. I mean, I think it's getting louder and louder as the night goes on. And that's not just the music from the bands, but just the energy and Folks are excited to be out here tonight, and rightfully so. And these folks do have quite a trek ahead of them. The floats in front of us, they're going to let the party continue and the fun continue all the way down to the Strand. And again, hundreds of thousands of people come out to the island for this annual tradition. And so many of them are lining the parade route with huge smiles on their faces tonight. Yes, we're seeing all sorts of hats. We are seeing masks. We are seeing beads. We are seeing rockets, hats that were flown out by Tillman Fertitta earlier. It's really been such a wonderful night and again this makes up the fabric of the community here in Galveston a sense of pride and it's so wonderful to see so many folks tens of thousands of people flock to the island for this wonderful Mardi Gras Galveston parade that's the Florida leaf float also sponsored by Knights of Momus a classic symbol of Mardi Gras the Florida Lee can be seen throughout the month-long celebrations right here on the island yeah classic symbol of Mardi Gras it can be seen throughout the celebrations here and a fun fact, Galveston's first recorded Mardi Gras celebration took place in 1867 and included a masked ball at Turner Hall, which is now Celia 21st Street. And the fun will continue. That wraps up our coverage of the 34th annual Knights of Momus Grand Night Parade right here on Channel 2. Yes, from all of us here at KPRC Channel 2 here on the island tonight, we certainly appreciate you joining us and let the good times roll. See you next time. Good night.